I started watching Game of Thrones recently. A little late, perhaps, but uh, I'm not going to do my Sean Bean impression. But well, winter is coming. <laughs> Since the last episode, it's actually been two and a half weeks. And it's now the last week in November. I'm about 50 kilometers, no, about 80 kilometers south of Thessaloniki in the north of Greece. Um, came up here a few days ago just to meet a friend. But uh, the weather forecast for tomorrow onwards is cold. Cold, stormy, with uh, chances of sleet and snow, which is enough to send shivers down the spine of any fair weather biker. So we're going to head south again. I only have a few more days before it's actually time to leave Greece and pack up for the winter because uh, the weather just isn't going to hold out. And I'm nearly out of money anyway, so it's time to get our move on. That's Mount Olympus hiding somewhere in those, in those clouds. It's already got snow on it. So yeah, I think for the next few days, it's time to make our way south along the coast because I reckon it's less likely to get snow or rain along the coast. It's probably gonna bundle up over the mountains and fall in the mountains. So stick to the coast as much as possible and might actually uh, avoid the worst of it. Let's go. an arch, an arch bridge, here in the middle of nowhere, right beside the motorway. <laughs> This is a holiday resort town. I'm sorry to break up the symposium, guys. I went out in front of me now, please. Did I need? No more. Okay, on to the next one. Can't get over how still the sea is. Okay, this looks like a proper little village. We have a bit of luck here. Supermarket. Excellent. Fantastic. No, all good. Got a little bit of food. A bit expensive, but I suppose when you're the only one around, you've got a monopoly on things, on the sale of your tomatoes. Anywho, I'm going to have a look now at my overlander and see what the situation for wild camping is along this coast. See if there's any nice predetermined spaces we can make our way to. Okay, there seems to be one about 60 kilometers away. Which will take uh, about 70 minutes. Estimated on Google Maps, so let's uh, get going. There'll just be huh. 
sick of mine. Anyway. I'm very, very tired today. I only got four hours sleep last night, so I'm a bit well off. Anyway, let's keep going. the road is out. Uh, guys, there meant to be a bridge here. Okay, well, that's a fair enough reason for the road to be out, I suppose. Yeah. I guess we've got to find another way. Right, let's see where the next bridge over this river is. Come on, it's windy! The wind is coming from the north! Which is interesting. Probably why it's going to, uh, probably why it's saying it's going to flood us. Uh, it's put us back about 45 minutes. But anyway, we're over the river. Feels like home. <laughs> Smells like home. Smells wet and green. The wet patches of the road are particularly slippy. Slippier than slippy. Look how beautiful the clouds are. Fantastic. Like little fists of light. Just across the sky there. And a bit of a rainbow. Oh. Look at that. Just look at that. Concerned because I just had wild boar come and say hi. I was buttoned up against the tent, digging up there and here, and I can still hear them. They're in that uh, in the hedger over there, so. Fancy having to deal with them in the dark. Yeah. Just dragged the tent <laughs> 50 meters along the beach. The poor fisher guy was looking at me going, what the hell is he wrong? Wrong with that guy. Anyway, um, yeah, I came here because there's there's some sort of like a summer bar thing uh, that's uh, closed. Closed for the, the winter, but but yeah, there's light. Uh, I think the, the boar will be less likely to be rummaging around where there's light. Uh, I don't like pigs, they can be vicious fuckers. And wild boar even more. So, anyway, I think it'll be grand. It should be fine. But yeah, he came right up 
um, I was lying on, on, on my side against the tent and I had my... Fucking joking. I had my headphones on and I felt like something come up against me. So I put, pulled the headphone off and I heard... <laughs> Yeah, and he was just rummaging around the base of the tent. Maybe he felt, smelt the food that was in here. And then he kept, even when I went out of the tent and put the bike on and the lights on, they kept snorting from the, the hedgerow, which I was like 10 metres away from. So I decided just to move away in case they're nesting there. In case that's their home. Uh, don't, want to, don't want to impose on them. Anywho, we're closer to the water here and in the light, so. I'm still here. I think I can. Maybe at this point I might just be imagining things, but uh, anyway, the grant, the grant. At least it stopped raining just long enough for me to move everything, and it's starting to patter down again now, so. Anyway, I'll try and get some sleep. I look like a mime wearing this. <laughs> I feel like that Rowan Atkinson, 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 it's early. Atkinson. Sketch from the not the nine o'clock news. I am a mime. My booty is my tool. <laughs> oh, I get comfy. Let's start the day. Car. That was exciting. This place reminds me of home. There's nothing going on. Nothing at all. Two cars. So, three cars. Wow. It's rush hour in. Uh, where are we? Google Maps only gives the name of this. Um, down in the Greek alphabet, so I can't, can't remember what it is. Anyway, I'm looking at the uh, maps and the weather, and I think I'm going to chance going inland because it's roughly the same distance and it's graying over everywhere anyway. So yeah, we'll just we'll take what comes. The sheep dog watching me. Supposed to wait. Yes, I had a run-in with your friends a few weeks ago, I know. I know you don't like motorbikes. He is not taking his eyes off me. Anyway, it looks like it's clearing up over there. I am pleasantly surprised. Um, the weather is not as bad as it was uh, saying it was going to be. Although we are a bit further south than, than Thessaloniki, so... 
That was all part of the plan. It's all going to plan. Hopefully now we can just dodge dodge any showers. Come on, ladies, hurry up, thank you. Couldn't happy enough with me here actually. Okay, as soon as I start to move though, he'll be nipping at my heels. Okay, well that was a lot more sheep than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> go away doggy, go away! Yeah, go away. He's going to run out in front of me sheep. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck off! There we go. Woo. Survived another run in with the sheepdogs and boots. They're a lot bigger than sheepdogs at home. <laughs> they look a lot scarier too. Anyway, for real this time, onward. Sake, not this again. Alright. Well, I guess this isn't actually meant to be part of the lake. Ah, I've got to drive all the way around it. The way I was going initially. Alright, anyway, change of plan. doesn't just kind of fizzle out in the bush. Ah, for fuck's sake, you're joking. Alright, let's see. Okay, There's still road underneath it, thank God, not much. Pardon me. Yeah. He's here. I wonder what the state of the main lake is like. This house is underwater there, something is uh, something's not right. It's definitely not meant to be in my own house. Total of students of the geometric period. Yeah, there's a lot. Cool though, cool. Right, map check. Let's see where we are. This is a handy wee spot on the side of the motorway. This is the battlefield of Thermopylae, as in the famous Thermopylae. Yeah, so right here. You know, they drove right past it. Uh, you know, people say it's one of the most important battles in in Western history or Western civilization. That's all rubbish. But uh, still, it certainly has its place in popular culture. 
Let's go and have a look. This must be it. This must be the, the famous saying of uh, something along the lines of O oh stranger or O oh passerby, go and tell the Spartans that we lie here according to their words or their laws. Whichever interpretation you want to use. And yeah, this is, uh, this is the stand of the 300 Spartans, the famous 300 Spartans. And, you know, a couple of thousand allies, but uh, they always get left out. The poor Thebians. <laughs> This is, uh, this is it, I suppose. This is uh, the mountains and the sea and the famous pass that the, the Spartans and their allies held for three days to the death against the massive invasion force Persians under the command of the King of Kings, Xerxes the Great, and the Spartans and their allies led by King Leonidas of Sparta blocking the pass, fighting to the death, to the last man to stall the second Persian invasion in 480 BCE. You know, I was just thinking climbing these steps that um, so much has been made of this history it's uh, such a legendary story that it almost feels exactly like that, like, like legend, like mythology. Uh, like the other great stories in actual Greek mythology. The Olympian gods and, you know, uh, even, you know, semi-history, like the Trojan War, things like that. The Battle of Thermopylae and the 300 Spartans kind of has that air to it. Um, but no, you know, it's, it's, it's history, of course. You know, there weren't a million Persians like the ancient historians claimed. And so much has been made out of the, the 300 Spartans last stand and their allies. Um, but no, no, it's history. Like two and a half thousand years ago, there was a, a battle here. So yeah, it's just, uh, it's just funny. Got the side of the motorway. I'm, I'm guessing that's uh, the big fella himself. Leonidas, King Leonidas of Sparta. Go over, we'll go across the road and have a look at him. Huh. Interesting artistic choice to uh, deliberately have no head on a modern sculpture. Let me get my Google Translate out to see what this says. Ah, this is the monument to the 700 thespians. At last, some recognition. Four o'clock. Alright, it's definitely time to scoot on further south. And I'm gonna ride for an hour and then try and find the place to camp. Probably gonna get wet. Oh wow, look at those mountains. It is impressive. Anyway, I'm gonna put the cameras away because of the rain. So let's go set up camp. So, I found this nice spot on uh, Iovalander, which is, um, where are we? I don't even know where we are. Uh, I've had a headache lingering coming on all day, but in the last half hour it just really, really hit. So, um, I just took some painkillers and uh, I'm going to wait for them to kick in and just lie here. Um, this could be the last night in the tent, however, on a positive. Um, tomorrow is Sunday, it'll be the last day properly on the road and perhaps, I'm not sure, I have to uh, wait till I hear back from people in Athens, friends in Athens, to, to, to know whether I'll be camping tomorrow night or not. Um, 
yeah, tonight could be the last night in the tent, which I will not be sorry about. <laughs> some people are, are born for the wild and uh, some people aren't, and I'm definitely the latter. Uh, I prefer more of a, a civilised expedition as opposed to this rough camping. Anyway, uh, this spot I found on Overlander, some bikers stayed here earlier this year and left it, uh, you know, a good a thumbs up, so yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna stop talking now because I the world is spinning for me, so um, I'm gonna leave it here. We'll, uh, we'll see you.